Rob, you got your thousandth point and your two hundredth three pointer. Does one mean more than the other to you? No. Not really. Uh, I, I don't really pay attention to it. Uh, I just gotta come out and just play hard and just, just try to get wins. Uh, you, know, you can score as many points as you want, but you know, it's it's nice. To, uh, I didn't know uh, that, uh, but people were just telling me as I came in. But it was, it's uh, you know just show you that I've been around too long. I guess. <laughs> So you weren't aware before the game that those milestones were within reach? No, I didn't. I didn't. Know. I didn't pay attention. I was just, just, just trying to win the next game. And just move on. Just move forward. When you guys were getting ready for this game, looking at tape, talking to the coaches in practice, what concerned you the most about <coughs> about uh, Georgia Southern? We watched film and we were like, "This is a pretty good team." Uh, you know, don't let the name or the record f uh, fool you. That's what Coach told us, and you know, they're a good team. Uh, you know, they, they played a pretty good schedule, and you know we had to come out with our A game today. We had to play our, our best game of the year. And, uh, you know, uh, we did that for the most part. We did that. Uh, we had a lot of energy starting off the game. I, I think when we start off, you know, it's pretty indicative of how we, how well we played throughout the game. So, uh, I, you know, it was it was a good victory for us. Uh, still have some things to work on, but uh, we're making the right steps in the right direction uh, this early in the season. Coach said you're not 100% physically. How are you feeling? Uh, just, you know, uh, general season, Nixon, uh, everything like that. But, uh, you know, I still got to play, still got to perform, uh, try to play to, to the best I can, <clears throat> and just, just help this team. So, uh, you know, I'll get better as time progresses. But, you know, I try to think about it. Just, just go out and just play. Whatever happens, happens. Ken and Coach compared your game tonight to your performance against Fresno <coughs> State. Uh, he, first he said tonight might have been your best game, then he brought up the other game. Which was a better performance in your mind and why? Uh, I, think, I think tonight was probably a better performance. Um, I rebounded a little better against Fresno State, but I think uh, I played more aggressive today, <clears throat> and that's been a big thing. Coaches tried to get me to progress in. It's just aggression and Toughness, things like that. I'm sure you've heard it before. A couple times. <laughs> <laughs> How much of your success inside was simply due to the fact that you and Richmond's also seem to have a distinct size advantage? I mean, it helps. You can't, you can't teach height. It's a big reason why teams recruit uh, big players. But I think also um, the offense we run gets us a lot of good looks. Uh, guys like Jeremiah that can find open man. It's easy buckets a lot of times. You're just seven games into your freshman year. What's been the biggest adjustment for you coming from high school? Uh, the speed of the game. High school, the better players kind of dictate how things go. And uh, in college, everything's going. If you, if you don't keep up, you're going to get left behind. Rob, you had a nine-point lead at halftime. And with all the new faces, the freshmen and then also the guys who were on the team but weren't eligible last year, was it almost good for this team and it's in your growing process as a team to have to fight off that rally down the stretch? Yeah. Part of the whole learning how to win process? Yeah, definitely. We had a couple games early on where same situation, we were up nine, <clears throat> going, to our, going down to the end of the game and you know, we didn't execute. And I think as each game progresses, we learn a little bit about ourselves. Uh, you know, these are things that you can't practice. You know, you, you learn through these mistakes or you learn through uh, the experiences uh, in games. And I just think, like, each game, you know, we come back. Uh, some games we've had to come back and, you know, and get the lead back. But tonight, uh, you know, we held the, we held the lead. Uh, we had a great stop at the end. Uh, you know, we scored where we had to. Cannon made two huge free throws uh, down the stretch. And I just think, you know, we're trying to find our identity right now or early in the season. And, Surely, slowly but surely, you know, we're coming along. And, you know, it'll, it'll only get better from here. All right, we put Coach on the spot and asked him to compare Cannon. Does, asked him if, he, if Cannon reminded him of anyone. When you see him in practice and in games, who does he remind you of? Uh, he kind of reminds me of a player we used to have, like, freshman year. But he's, he's, uh, he's, he's taller, he's a little bit more uh, uh, athletic, and he's more versatile. Uh, we had a guy, that, <clears throat> Alex Malone. Pretty sure 
kind of kind of resembles him a little bit. <laughs> same uh, hometown? No. Yeah, yep. He yeah. was from the same hometown, and uh, you know, uh, but Cannon, you know, Cannon's doing a great job of uh, just being uh, just just doing what Coach asked him to. You know, in this offense, kind of like what he said, you know, you're going to be put in positions to, to to score and you know to make plays, and Cannon. Uh, did a great job of just uh, being in the right spot. You know, when Jeremiah drove, he was able to get a lot of dunks, uh, you know, putbacks, offensive rebounds. You know, that's just him being aggressive. And I just think, you know, surely, slowly but surely, he's coming along. You know, uh, you know, the big point, the big thing that is what coach would say is, you know, now this is what's expected of him every night. You know, uh, whatever he had, 18 and seven. You know, he's gonna. That's what's gonna be expected from him. He's gonna have to set the bar even higher and higher every night because uh, he, he's shown that he's able to do this. So it's just consistency from here on. You guys held Georgia Southern 22 points below their average. What was the main focus of your defensive approach to this game? Uh, we wanted to, they like to get to the hole by using pick and rolls and stuff we wanted to stay in. Uh, they had some decent shooters, but we figured we'd, we'd rather take away the basket than, than uh, let them get there. Just give them the three-pointer. They, they hit a few, but it wasn't enough to, to really hurt us. Just kept them out of the lane, really. There's some big free throws with 30 seconds left. What was going through your mind? Uh, some, I, think, I think a lot of times people uh, <laughs> let the pressure get to them when they think about it too much. I try to just relax and um, send two free throws. You would shoot any other time. Is it hard to do, though, to relax? You hear some people say, like, the rim looks real small. or. No, nah, it's, it's the same thing. It's just uh, sometimes you think too much, try to try to try to go through your mechanics too much or whatever. Still, same 15 feet, you just gotta shoot it.